Hello, welcome to Nixie's Notebooks. I am your host, and today I am going to do a desk cleanup. I have so much stuff on my desk that I figured I needed to do some cleanup. Um, instead of just throwing the scraps into a basket or bucket or box where they will sit, I figured I'm going to use them. So I'm going to give myself 45 minutes on the timer, and then we are going to go through this. As a little bit of a side note, um, I did have some adult beverages. So I do apologize. Well, I don't know why I'm apologizing. But anyways, the point is, I did have some adult beverages. We are going to get started. I'm going to work as fast as I can, try to get out as much stuff, um, even if it's just, you know, simple little cluster stuff. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I set the timer to 47 minutes. I don't know why. I just went up too far, and that's okay. My chair is going to make loud cracking noises. It just does that. I don't know. Again, as I said, I have had a couple of adult beverages. I'm still drinking some adult beverages. But um, just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on on my desk, we're going to leave that right there. Let me, um, oh, oh, wrong way. Here we go. So you can see I got a whole pile of stuff here, papers and stuff. I have some um, uh, wallpaper stuff. Yeah, everything is going to end with the word stuff. So just an FYI. Um, I got some fabric stuff. <laughs> and some focal points here. I don't know. I might have to go find more focal points. I did pull out my book here to look through some focal points. And I lost one of my books for focal points, but that's okay. We'll, we'll manage. Even if I don't have a focal point, it's okay. I can put one on afterwards. So, all right, let's get started. I'm going to set the timer. There goes my chair again. Yay, happy cracking noise. Woo, you hear it again? Yeah, I'm getting excited in my chair. All right. I'm going to actually, um, sorry, I hope you guys can see this still. Let's see. Will you guys be able to see that? I can't tell. Oh, I got to go back down to one. One. Nope. All right. Can you guys see that? ish it's like not really there we go oh, you want it more like I just want it up a little bit so I can see it and so you can see it and you know what's going to happen the first time I reach for a button that's going to cause problems so let's do this instead there we go all right well, let's get started so I started this one um already I just Felt a little bad for the little poor little... Oh, I have to hit start, don't I? Mm-hmm. Yep, it's going to be one of those videos. So, I started this whole collage, and I felt so bad for this poor little squirrel. He just looks so sad with his little baby nut there. And that sounds so wrong. Oh, boy. Anyways, so I figured he needed some motivation, so that's where I got this from. Um, I am going to put something on the back. I am going to put this aside for right now because... <laughs> The ribbon I was going to use to put in the little hole is uh, holding up my timer. So we're going to put that aside. Okay, so let's move next to the next piece. All right, um, this was, um, I make, uh, what are these things called again? Clusters. I make clusters all the time um, with leftover paper. And um, I had this one. I pulled it out for another journal thinking I might use it. I didn't. So let's ink up some of these edges a little bit just kind of give it some inky feel and you will keep going I'm not gonna lie I probably have some of my beer which is gonna probably make me burp I'll try not to do it too loudly in your guys ears because <laughs> that's why you come to YouTube right to hear people burp or to watch this boring stuff so this one I'm just gonna put like a word or something just to kind of there we go just want to get a little age look they're probably like that didn't really do much and I'd agree but whatever so let's see faith right there but just breathe I like that better so we're gonna cut this out so basically basically uh, Basically, I am running against the clock to see how much ephemera I can make in 45 minutes while being um, slightly um, feeling good on adult beverages. So we'll see what happens. All right. 
and I just pulled this out so I figure I'll just you know stick something on it throw it back in my bin I have a bin full of uh, clusters that I use um, I pull out some every once in a while I don't know if I'll ever use all of them but it's a great way to get rid of your uh, scrap paper and make you feel like you've you know not thrown away as much paper as you have so and yes that is a problem with me I'm always afraid I I'm afraid to throw away paper you can ask my good friend up in Williams because there's times where she just looks at me like really really you're gonna you're gonna save that little tiny scrap of paper and I'm like yeah just gonna do it oh, glue and the battle with the glue begins I don't know how, I don't know how other people like just don't get glue everywhere. I get it everywhere. I get it on my hands. I get it on my, I was going to say my feet. I probably do get it on my feet too, but I just get it everywhere and it's awful because it just feels like I can't stop it. There we go. How about that? Tell you what the worst is is getting it in your hair. This is the worst. Am I still on camera? I just need to make sure I'm on camera because sometimes I have a bad habit of not being on camera. There we go. Kind of like that. Oh, there's more right there. Okay, so the trick I learned. Depends on the paper, will or not work, but this will usually work. Why it looks so dirty is the stuff I just brushed onto it from the ink pad. So there we go. We have one piece of ephemera done. And we have one that's half done. So woo, it's 42 minutes in and we're doing great. All right. So I have a whole bunch of these. These were cut from my, uh, my own um, journal that I use to kind of um, just do my own collaging in. Um, so I had a whole bunch of these taken out. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to trim up the sides, but let's see what we can do here. Uh, what do we want to start with? Let's see. Well, that'd be pretty on the back, wouldn't it? Except we're gonna have to rip it. Yes, we are. Which, of course, means we're gonna have to ink it too. We're gonna need a little more than that. down towards the bottom because I'm going to trim the sides I'm not too worried about that we'll just get this all inked up here using my favorite ground espresso I just like it because it's coffee flavored it's not really coffee flavored I didn't really try it I didn't really eat it okay yes we are on a time crunch Less talking, more working. I would like to get some of this stuff off my desk though because I'm trying to clean up and finish up. Like I have three journals that are just sitting there that need to be finished and it's been a little bit difficult with all this stuff on my desk. So yes, I am trying to finish that up. I, um, I did make a beautiful journal for my friend. Well, no, okay. Mm, all right, let's back up there. She came down, we made journals, and I, um, she started hers, and then I finished it because she didn't have time to finish it while she was here. So um, that's what I did. So I'm going to be sending that to her. I don't know where that came from. I'm just making conversation, I think, at this point. Oh, but yeah, I, so I finished that, um, and then I have uh, some journals for some family members that I want to finish. Um, and then I have my bird journal, if anyone's been following that. That is a 
That is a crazy little journal. It's actually coming out pretty good. I like it. Um, I just can't get it done fast enough for my liking. No, it's just me. So this is going to be the back. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. What in the world? Well, we're going to... um. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually probably do this to the whole... I'm going to go around the edges once I cut it. But we're going to wait till I cut it before I do that. Oh, how cute. Nice and white there. Uh, let's see here. Put the cap back on the glue. I had a thought in my head I was going to talk about. I totally missed it. Sorry, I'm retrieving a... What do you call that? Washi tape. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, of course it would do that. That's oh, alright. That's alright. We will work with that. And we need a glue stick here. Put glue stick on all of my washi tape just to make sure it sticks down. Oh, the other thing. Oh, I wanted to say thank you. I have 200 followers on YouTube, and I am so excited for the 200 followers. I think that's awesome. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I do appreciate it. I think it's great, um, and I am like overly excited that I am now like an internet sensation. Uh, I keep telling my husband that I'm an internet sensation. You know, little Mr. IT guy. He thinks I'm crazy, but you know what? Hey. What he doesn't know, right? So we're just going to cut that off there just to kind of leave it. Should put a little bit more there. Sure, why not? So we're going to rip it that way. Yes, I am an internet sensation. I have 200 followers, um, so basically I'm awesome. I think that just kind of makes me an awesome person automatically. So, yay me! But I do really want to thank everyone that um, has subscribed to my channel. I think that's awesome. So, I'm really excited about it. I also have 800... Um, followers on Instagram which is also very exciting like I never thought I would even have that many I never thought I'd get past like 28 or I think I had 30 at one point and I stayed uh, strong at 30 for quite a while and um, yeah I didn't know if I was ever going to get out past that 30 mark on my YouTube channel and I did and I was like wow so thank you again I do appreciate you um, I have a journal, I'm going to probably just, as I rehab, it's an older journal that I made when I first started journaling, and I'm going to rehab it a little bit to make it a little more presentable, a little more pretty. I did have it up on my Etsy site, and I kind of like that, and I said, you know what, this is not the quality I wanted to put out, but I'm going to fix it up. We're going to make it from, uh, we're going to make it from shabby to chic, and, um, that is going to be a giveaway once I hit 1,000 viewers on YouTube because I am very excited that that may actually happen someday in my lifetime. So, and that would be awesome. So, um, if that's an incentive for any of your friends who watches YouTube, you know, let them know. Tell them, hey, free stuff. Everyone loves free stuff. Everyone loves free stuff. I feel like I should be saying everyone loves Raymond. I actually didn't really like that TV show had some issues with the people arguing all the time. It really bothered me for some unknown reason. Okay. So what I am going to do also is I'm probably going to stitch all of these. I will stitch them after the video. Um, and then I will probably do a little montage of all the stuff I've done on this video. So you'll have a little bit of a, you'll be able to see everything that has been completed and done. So it won't be any surprise to anyone. Right, we're going to need something really solid here. Oh, stupid chair. Kind of like, where do we want to go that way? 
feel like there's a lot. It needs to be a little bit more vertical. All right, let's do this. And rip off this. I'll make it like, yeah. Okay. I'm probably not gonna keep all these really tiny scraps because that's just not gonna happen. something some good pictures that's one thing is I didn't pull out enough focal points so we will have to look in the big book of focal points see if we can find something interesting real quick all right let's not take a lot of time here oh do we do a little map I always like little maps on there let's see is that gonna be too small now the blue is gonna really blend there so we don't want to try that let's um you know what let's maybe we make this so we all know I got that bird journal. I'm gonna need a ton of stuff in there. So maybe that one or, ooh, I like that one. Let's leave those out. Let's leave that out. We'll pull that out too. Just trying to find a few focal points so that way we have them for when we are ready. I do like that. Oh my gosh, that chair is going to drive me bananas. Definitely going to have to ask the IT guy to see if he can actually get that fixed because that's going to drive me nuts. Okay. Have this and then this and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a word. I'm do faith. Like the word faith. So we'll do that. Do that kind of like a little bit off to the side there. I feel like the back needs something. I don't know what though. I think, mm, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't need anything. Maybe, I don't know, back there seems so very, uh, you know what? We're going to try something. I may ruin this. I may not. Who knows? But we're going to try it anyways. Okay, so we're going to use one of these stamps. We're going to use the... I was like, oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go down one side of this. The reasoning why is I don't want I just want a little bit behind there. So we'll do that. I really only want like let's see how this works. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Something just to kind of eat up the background of the blue. The blue was a little bit too much, so we just needed something to eat up the background of the blue. And we did that. So let's come out. Get that cleaned up. I can use this later for glue if I need it. All right. Moving on. Where is that plastic piece that I had on top of it? I have to find that or my cats are gonna eat it. Maybe I didn't take it out with me. Pretty sure I peeled it off. All right. If you guys see it on my desk, let me know. <laughs> if not, I'll just have to really watch it because my cats, I have one cat that loves to eat that sort of stuff, so. Yeah, that worked out perfectly, see? Yeah, it looks a lot better. Now let's ink up this. Yeah, I like the way that came out. I'm going to 
gonna do is, oh, that's all. So that's gonna be cut off, so it doesn't really matter, but I just wanna make sure it has a nice round look to it. Go there. This is gonna go there, and then that's gonna go there, and I think that will look perfect. Except for let's ink these edges up. I know people are like, oh, why are you do it? Oh, here we go. Here's the plastic piece. Here we go. Winning. All right. This obviously means I need another sip of beer. I may do a part two because uh, I have a lot of shit I gotta get through. I just wanna get through all this paper. I have so much scrap paper and I hate to throw it away because it feels like it's such a waste, but trying to use it up is like crazy. So, all right, I don't know if that really made a difference. Some probably didn't, but that's okay. Your nose is itchy. Sorry, I didn't mean to like sniffle in your ear. It just happens. It's and you know what this talking this babble is going to probably go on for the whole video so just fyi as we're already like what i don't know what's 28 minus 45 47 48 i don't know we're already kind of into the video so all right i'm using this glue and the only reason why i'm using this glue is just because it it seems to be working a little bit better. I am having a lot of problems with the Elmer's glue. I never did, like, about, mm, about a year ago, two years ago, I had a bunch of them, and I never had any problems with them. But this year, I'm, like, really struggling with the Elmer's glue. I don't know why. I wish I wasn't. Make life a little bit easier. All right. And there we go. We have a nice, I have a nice piece of ephemera. I'm going to put in the bird journal. Yep, sorry, bird journal aficionados. This will not probably be in the bird journal list, but you get the point. So, sorry. Okay. All right. So we got one more. I'm going to wait for this to dry a little bit, then I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to sew around the edges. I'm going to sew around the edges of pretty much all of these just to make sure everything stays down. Um, I just kind of quick glued them all on these little pieces, as you can see. Quick glued them quickly. I quickly glued them. Do that. Oh, is that one bigger? That one might work. Let's use this. So these are pre pasted. I don't know what that means. I'm vaguely. I just I've never been in a house really that used a lot of wallpaper well okay no we did in our bathroom there's always wallpaper in our bathroom we had this um deer wallpaper at one point at one point I think I probably talked about this in another video but a uh, little Bambi on there and uh I was young so looking at that wasn't that bad we did have some yellow flower ones like these weird pinstripey yellow flower ones I remember that when I was really young but for the most part, we never did much in the way of wallpaper because, I don't know, we just didn't. So, which is okay. I mean, you don't have to like wallpaper. So my goal is to just, ooh, look how perfect that is. All right. Let's move on with our bad cells. Here we go. Yay. All right. I like the way that's going to look. That is actually going to probably be perfect. And okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to, I'm going to fussy cut with scissors. Probably not going to ink the edges until actually I do the real cuts. So this one I didn't ink the edges because I'm going to actually have to cut them down a little bit. Um, obviously the back really needs to be inked up, but um, I'm not going to do that until after I, I cut the edges up and kind of square up the, uh, tag itself so so that's where we're at I don't know why I talked about that whatever anyways 
I should probably just do it on here. Probably be better and easier. So I got all this um, wallpaper borders from, uh, what's that place called? Um, Goodwill. So I thought they'd be fun to use. I am going to do another Goodwill haul, I think. Um, I do like doing those. Um, I love finding good deals at Goodwill. I just feel like I've like won the lottery or something silly like that. So okay. No, do not get dirty. <sighs> you know what? And the sad thing is, is this is washable wallpaper. So if you know a little Mikey decided to play with some uh, stuff, glue sticks in the house. That's all right. We'll take care of it. We'll We'll make it work. All right, let's just, again, it's the glue. I just, glue, paint, paint's the worst. Man, I get paint everywhere. I don't think I put this on very straight either, so we'll find out. That's okay. Doesn't matter. It's a junk journal. That's why you can put things in uh, weird ways, because that's what you get to do with junk journals, so. Oh my goodness. Right, we'll fix that. And everyone's probably like, what in the world are you doing? Oh, jeez. It's a quick way to find out where your glue is. I don't know why there's so much glue on this side. Sorry, we'll fix it. We'll make it all better. When in doubt, just glue something down. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have a nice cute little background. I really don't know what to do with this now that I put the background down. Hmm. Well, better think fast, huh? Okay. I'd like to put something up along the top there so that we don't have to worry about that stupid glue. Just drive me nuts. Hmm. Okay, so my thought is just to kind of put this up at the top. I still have that stuff. That's okay because we can put something on there like a butterfly. No, not a butterfly. Piece of map. No, definitely not a piece of map. I have to find something a little bit bigger to put down. Seems like that may be too big. We'll find something. Don't worry about it, people. We will find something. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up a little bit higher than the tag. So that way, um, I when I cut it, it'll be a little more flush. So let's... I like that little piece up there. All right. Okay. And yes, I know I have um, that hole. I'll just cut it out. It's not a big deal. And then we'll put ribbon in there so it'll look all pretty so we don't even have to worry about it. Okay. I want to make sure it's a little bit above. Oh, no, let's not do totally off balance. There we go. So my biggest concern right at this moment is, oh, the dirty that I'm getting on this side of it. Um, okay. Let's put this on the back. So we're going to put some tea dyed paper in the back. Great writing space. Just rip it. Okay, that seems really big. That's okay. Let's do this. Like that. There we go. Look how perfect that is. Let's ink the edges though first before we start diving into this. Oh, look, we got 20 minutes left. And I've done one. Mark it on tape. Let's see if we can get a third one done before the end of this. And if we don't complete it, then we will have another video session and I'll just put them up back to back. 
so actually um not gonna lie sometimes I do create better because I'm not as uh, worried or um, inhibited I guess after I've had a drink or two not that I am suggesting anyone drinks that is not what is going on here but I will admit that that is kind of a thing no so I've actually I don't really drink that much anymore it's kind of better job daytime job in real life job and um, I'm really enjoying it so I don't don't party as much as I used to is that the better word for it probably my last job I did have to have a few drinks here and there just come down from the week so I hope you can hear me through all the crinkling on the paper because I do have a quiet voice but I really don't think so I just think I'm really being loud but whatever we'll see this is gonna go on the back it's gonna go up like that there we go that's perfect uh, you know what? I'm gonna use this glue instead. I think. I'm just having too much palm with the rubber with the it's not rubber cement with the glue stick. So I do kind of wish I could make this like a little bit smaller, but I think the settings on my camera and my phone and stuff, the getting a little bit closer just doesn't work very well. And yes, I do use my phone to film which is probably my first mistake. So I do apologize if you feel like you're really far away and you can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, I do notice that in some of the videos I'm like, I can't really see the details or I'll say, oh, look at that. And you really can't tell from the video. So I do apologize for that. Um, maybe someday I'll like learn how to do it like on a real camera and stuff. I actually think I have a camera that could do it. I think I'm 100% positive on that. I'd have to ask my husband. He would know better than me. So let's get rid of that circle before that drives me nuts. And let's put something on this while we are waiting for it to dry. It's not all that heavy, but it's heavy enough. So, I'm just gonna do this. This is a cutting board. Um, I use it mostly to kind of make sure I'm in the frame and in the shot. I mean, am I? Am I? Please tell me I haven't done all this like pretty much off. I did it really close down to the bottom. I can see that. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I uh, use it more just to kind of keep me, um, yeah, circle's not good when you're drinking. Uh, I do it more to, mother of trucking. I use the cutting board more to keep me in the space of the, I did this just like 10 minutes ago in the space of um, the, the video frame because I have a bad habit of pulling stuff out of the video frame. I have bad, bad eyes, very bad eyes. So that's actually one of my fears of mine is I'm going to go blind at some point because they are that bad. So but we'll see. Very nonchalant, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Don't worry about it. We're good. Stupid. Okay, so the glue issue is probably because I've had a little bit much to drink. So I do apologize for that. Glue issues aren't really. Oh, man, I make it worse. Okay, there we go. All right. What do I do at this front? It's so freaking busy. And my damn chair. I can't pull in. I can't pull forward to the... Forget it. You know what? Maybe I'll just put a big old butterfly on there. Why not? Right? I mean, really, why not? Ooh, let's see what we got out of the line. You know what? I have butterfly stickers back here. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 Stay in there, please. That's the one thing. I don't like this one because it's really slick. Like the inside is really slick so all the stuff slides right out. Excuse me. Alright. Okay, 
so I have some ideas here. Some stuff is kind of brewing in my little head. And we have 14 minutes. 14 minutes! Hmm. These would fit on there. Does that fit on there? Make it a very simple one. Kind of ink the edges around there. Maybe um, put something, a word or something down there. Let's see what I have up here. Give yourself grace. Yeah, I kind of like that. Just make it nice and simple and easy. You know what? We're going to hide all this. And you know how we're going to do it? With some sprays. Tim Holtz, Micah Distress. What I'm going to do now, ugh. what I'm going to do now is, ooh, let's use this piece of paper. That'll work perfectly. Oh, did I do the wrong side? Probably. That's all right. So I'm going to have to wait for that to dry. So we're going to put that on top of that, which I think is going to kind of give this more of a, a front, like front and center type of thing. And yes, even though these are like stickers and stuff and you can see you can kind of rub it off, it'll still stay. The ink will still stay on there. Um, but if you like get too crazy with it, you can kind of rub it off. But I like the way it looks. Um, that's what I did with the little squirrel sticker. So, very versatile stuff here. Probably gonna need some lace on this too, I think. Put a little piece of lace there or something. Yep, I'm liking that. So we're gonna make sure this is within all of the boundaries. Yes, okay. Alright, so let's we're gonna glue that right down now. Definitely gonna use the fabric tack for this. Gotta be very careful with this stuff. So now that I've used the fabric tack, I have to be very careful when I do place it down. And the reason why is um, if you push too hard and the fat and the stuff comes through, it's gonna look funky. So yeah, that was really messy. I saw that. It was messy. I'm not gonna lie. That was a real messy thing I just did. That's okay. Ink and glue everywhere, because that's how I roll. Oh, I like that idea. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a line down here. Yes, I'm getting glue everywhere. I do realize, I realize, I realize. Now the only problem with what I just did is that um, I still have to cut this off. Oh, come on, stick down. I glue everywhere. Not good. All right. You know, you put a little bit of a. So we got that going on right there, just like that. Yes, I'm still going to trim up the edges, so i got to make sure I don't put this on any of the edges. That's going to be a pain in the butt to trim up the edges. Oh, and it's not even straight. Good job. 
Mm, oh well. All right. Let's see here. Mm. Looking through an assortment of buttons to try to find one that might look nice near the give yourself grace piece okay that'll work all right now i just need to find some thread you know what is it purple i guess we'll do this thread I'm pulling out a needle that will fit into the holes of the button. If I can get my fingers to work and do that. There we go. That was crazy. Okay. This is a variegated thread, as you can see. I use a sulky um, 12 count weight. Um, I just find it to be the better, it, may, it gives it a thicker, so I'm sorry, my, I, there's glue all over my hands, please ignore, uh, but it gives it a thicker, okay, let's see that, I see that. Apparently there's some glue in there. All right, let's see here. No? Oh, mother. Okay. And I can't find where it fell. Of course. can't find where it fell so we're gonna plot another one and then I'll look for that later so I don't hurt myself on that later because I will so, all right let's work on this one okay all right so what my plan is and I'll show you. This is what I do with buttons. I don't really actually sew them down, but I make it look like they're sewed down. Sewed down. Is that even the right word? Not even sure. So we go up this way. And then we hold this piece right here. Because we're going to leave some tail out. Because everyone likes a little tail. All right. Am I right? So we're going to do this in an X fashion. I hope you can see this. Should I should pull it closer. Ow. All right. See, I just got to hold this like just right. So where am I right here? So we're going to go up again here. We're just going to do this several times. Hopefully I don't know all the thread up. Cause I'm gonna make it look like an axe. Ow, man. usually do this with a two hole button so this is not working out the way I want it to because I haven't been pulling it really tight I should have pulled it tighter earlier it's okay uh, no I didn't have it okay all right
So basically what I'm doing, I'm just tightening this up a little bit. Just a little bit. And apparently I messed up while doing that. Good job. probably a better way to do this and I just don't know it so I do apologize nope. waste I'll waste like 20 million minutes waiting to do this yep story of my life It's easier to be pulled till that. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. All right. That just looks like a big old knot there. That's all right. So there we go. We are going to cut this. And I'm not worrying about the, the stuff. I'm not going to worry about knotting it or anything like that because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it down and we'll leave the little stringies there. So that'll work. All right, let's cut this. Okay. Let's glue down our butterfly. Um, it's actually a sticker, but I still would rather glue it down just to make sure. Because, yeah. It's almost like cardboard stickers. They want you to like bend them. I hate it. No, 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 don't. Oh, mother. Okay, this happens a lot. All right, so we're going to do this. I have a minute and 47 seconds to finish this. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. I'm going to do that like Grace, we're gonna put that on next. That is one of my favorite sayings. It's something I always have to remember for myself that you know what, my nothing is perfect. And give yourself some grace. Give yourself some thought and love. And I think I've said this about a billion times now. About right there. We'll cut those. So we have some little oops, some little stringy strings. Mm. Okay, let that sit for a second and then we're going to cut it. So there we go. That was 45 minutes and we got two tags done. I feel like I worked really slow now. Hmm. All right, well, there we go. Um, actually, I'm probably going to do another one right after this one because I can. And, um, keep this going so I can get rid of some of the scrap stuff that's on my desk because I didn't really get rid of all that much. So, all right, see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, like and subscribe. I forgot to tell people that. Like and subscribe. Does it even matter? I don't know. Anyways, all right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Just a couple things on the video. My friend is the one that made the journal that I talked about in the video. She made a beautiful journal. I just uh, bound it and added a collage or two on some of the empty pages. The other thing that um, I was talking about, oh, the drinking. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's not like I was a freaking lush. I'm not a lush. I am not an alcoholic. Just want to get that straight. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.